Your heart chakra is the most powerful of all your seven major chakras. The solar plexus, for example, is your powerhouse for, <laughs> don't you just love humidity? <laughs> Your solar plexus is the powerhouse for manifestation. Your crown, powerhouse for spiritual connection and intuition, talking with, connecting with your guides, telepathy, astral travel. Your third eye, the powerhouse for visioning, envisioning, and imagination, seeing behind you and forward and presently. The throat chakra, powerhouse for communication. Solar plexus, we did that one. Sacral, a powerhouse for relationships of all kinds. And your root chakra, oh my gosh, manages the fight or flight, passion, prosperity, protection, and grounding. The heart chakra is actually in the middle of your seven fade major <laughs> chakras. So you've got your crown, third eye, <clears throat> throat, and then your heart and the root, sacral and solar plexus, and then your heart. The heart is the bridge between the upper, higher vibe chakras <laughs> and the lower physical chakras. What you think feeds your emotions. What you feel feeds your thoughts. All of that, your thoughts, your emotions, feeds and expands in your energy and that is what gets projected out so what do you do how do you manage your heart chakra how does it affect every area of your life well when you're not feeling so great what kinds of things experiences vibes or people's energy that do you attract because your vibration has been lowered to a different frequency so that it is more in tune with stuff you don't want stuff that doesn't normally stick to you or come to you or it just passes you by well <laughs> i didn't feel like doing this one today and i thought you know it's exactly <laughs> It's exactly when it is the perfect time to do something for the heart chakra. And before I get too far afield from what I want to share with you, I'm going to look at my notes. So just bear with me for a moment because this is important. As we talked about or shared with you, it's already the center of everything you experience from the past, whether it's a past life. But let's just focus on this life this path, this journey that you're on right now, because this is the one that is most important and most potent for you. When you change one thing, one thing, one thought, one feeling, one emotion, one action, but let's stick with thoughts and emotions because this is what we're really focusing on. If you change just one thing, like I said, you know, I said, oh, man, I'm just going to blow this off. I'll just do it another time. And it's like, mm, no, this is the perfect time because I kind of don't feel like it. So let's change that to let's work with my heart chakra right now. So work with yours with me. So in the show notes, I have put a list of the pink crystals, minerals, and stones that resonate with the heart chakra. Long before I knew a whole lot about chakras and what colors were supposed to be where, I always associated the heart chakra with pink for love. Not red, because that's a really intense color. Red is more for grounding, passion, um, protection, and prosperity, and to me, resonates more with your root chakra. So that's why we're focusing today on pink crystals. This is rose quartz, and this is a palm stone of rose quartz. Let's see, we have rhodochrosite. This is a very, there, that's better, a very soft rhodochrosite. 
And then we have rhodonite. I've got a great big fat palm stone right behind here. But if I take it out of the bowl, it's going to mess everything up. And I go, yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Just being real with y'all. So this is rhodonite. Good for grounding as well as grounding some of the energies of the emotions, the experiences, and the thoughts that then feed your heart chakra. And then here is a beautiful sphere of rhodonite. I love all this blackish, you know, the manganese or hematite, whatever it is, because it helps to ground and soften and then just pull the energies that are not resonating that you don't want to be projecting out into the world, into your experiences and what you're going through. So when you change one thing, like I decided, you know, I'm doing this and let's have some fun with it. And that changed my whole mindset about wanting to create this video for y'all today. Because when I'm recording this, we're practically in the middle or getting very close to being in the middle of Lionsgate energy. And I'll tell you, I'll tell, I will tell you, it has been, the energies of Lionsgate have really been pretty much overwhelming. And so what I feel normally, naturally, is heightened. It is more. So being with all of these lovely pink crystals, and this is Mangano Calcite, and just even collecting these from my personal correct collection to share with you has helped change. So this smile on my face is genuine. It's not just for the camera. I'm not, I'm not one to easily be able to hide what I feel. So I've been told. So it's like, you know, if I'm having one of those days, I just shut myself off in my own environment and I don't go anywhere. So this is pink amethyst I like a little geode um pink apophyllite it's not the pure white it's kind of hard to see in this particular light and i didn't think to bring a piece of white apophyllite to share the difference with you to show you the difference in color but pink apophyllite is very subtle it has all the qualities of apophyllite so higher vibrations which also means that pink apophyllite works with your higher heart. And then we have beautiful pink Himalayan quartz. These are gorgeous. Higher heart. And not only the higher heart, but okay, it wants me to show you here. I think you can see more pink here because it's definitely not white or clear. When you work with your heart, heart center, your, your heart chakra, you're also going to be affecting your higher heart because we have, we are one great big huge collection of chakras. And we work with the seven major chakras because those are easily remembered and most talked about. And we can't quite mess things up if we're not really sure of what we're doing or we're just getting started. When I work with my clients, I also work with their palm chakras and the chakras in the balls of the feet or the arch of their feet. So it's like, what, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> I like the number 11. This is cobaltocalcite, great for forgiveness work. And let's just even think about um forgiveness work for ourselves on ourselves and then we have pink lithium and again this doesn't look really pink do i have anything right near me yeah i've got this lemurian which is kind of sort of whitish so so you can see the pink color it's real subtle so this is more what clear quartz. This is a Lemurian, but it looks more clear and white-ish 
And then you can kind of tell that there's a difference in color in the pink lithium here in this setting, as well as this is the pink apophyllite. Now you can hopefully see a little tinge. It's different. It's not white. And then here's the pink Himalayan. Being careful so I don't drop anybody All right, this way. All right. So you can see the colors, the touch of color. And if you were to see these in person, then you would you would hopefully see the colors even more um, distinctly because there's a distinctness. Okay, so what is forgiveness? Forgiveness is letting go of the energy ties, the cords, the attachments to things, people and experiences that have been, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, not so nice, right? So when you change one thing, <clears throat> you're changing everything. And how does that happen? Well, it happens because when you change one thing, one thought, then your vibration changes. And that affects the energy within you and around you. And it can affect other people as well. Now, we're not doing this just for other people. We're doing it for ourselves because <clears throat> when we're out of alignment, when our heart chakra is kind of janged up, it's, it's filled with or even feeling, you know, a little bit sad or you're a little overtired, <clears throat> then things can affect you and then things can start to spiral. So how do you change this? How do you, how do you work with your heart chakra and your thoughts and your emotions so that it doesn't tank? At least not as often, right? Because sometimes we need to be in that space where we just get rid of stuff. <clears throat> So there must be stuff coming up in my throat chakra <clears throat> as I'm sharing this with you. So hence the water. <laughs> okay, so you can hold any one of these guys, these crystals, whether it's an obelisk, a palm stone, a cluster, or a sphere, right to your heart chakra. You're not at home. You're at the office. You, you're out in public. Go somewhere where you can sit for just a few minutes, like maybe two or three, a restroom or a park bench, whatever it is, in your own office, if you're not in a glass office, and just close your eyes for 30 to 60 seconds and connect through your third eye, through your imagination, your visualization skills, to the crystals that you have at home or the crystal that you have at home. And just then surround yourself. Just imagine you are in a bubble of pink light. That alone is going to help repel all the junky energy that's just out there free, free floating because people, people are stressed. People got their own stuff. They've got their own path. And things are not always easy. Sometimes they're way past easy. They're like super complicated. So you are then not only affecting yourself differently, you're putting a buffer, a love buffer, a loving buffer between you and the lower frequencies of energy, the thoughts, the emotions, all the stuff going around. You know, I'm not even going to name anything because I don't want to draw it to us. <clears throat> Forgiveness has a bad rap. We don't like to forgive people or situations that have hurt us, betrayed us, um, caused us pain, people lied, right? You know, they just don't do what they say they're going to do or they do worse or whatever those things. When those thoughts, emotions, those experiences show up, it is a reminder to refocus yourself. <clears throat> Lots of water today. And my bottle is even pink. <clears throat> so if you, nope, 
it's all worn off, but <laughs> on the bottom of my water bottle, I usually have the word love. And it's not, it's now time to re-put, to rewrite, not re-put, to rewrite it on here because water absorbs energy and the molecules change. Um, I think it was Dr. Moto. Don't remember the name quite off, but the man who did all the photos with having written a word on a bottle of water, love, and the other words like fear, hate, and how the, the water patterns and the molecules changed from into dark and ugly with the negative words, and how they were beautiful and bright and intricate with words that represent love, like compassion, love, um, happiness, joy, those kinds of things. So the same thing happens in the water, happens within you. And it can be subtle and it is sometimes not so subtle. The crystals that can help you open your heart are the ones that I have been sharing with you thus far. So let's go over them a little bit more. All you have to do is hold them. And you can imagine their energy. This is Rose Quartz, most well known for or being the love stone for your heart chakra. This guy, Cobalto Calcite, is fantastic for working with forgiveness work. Let's just even work on forgiving yourself. You forgiving you for things that you wish you hadn't said, for things you wish you hadn't done, for things you wish you had did, had, had done. <laughs> And do you know how you even treat yourself? You know, I wish I had listened to my intuition. I wish I had blah, 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 la, la, la. And so this guy, and with my um, pink apophyllite actually, are on one of my night tables because I want their energy to work with me. Now, I also have kyanite and selenite on my night tables, so big chunks of them so that the energy is always clear and cleansed and recharged, not just for me, but for them because they absorb all of our energies. So this guy, Pink Lithium, is all about relationships, relationship with yourself, how you feel, how you treat yourself, the way you think about you, your self-confidence, your belief that things can happen for you. Um, let's see, rhodochrosite is one of the highest vibrations for your heart chakra. Rhodonite adds levels of or energies of grounding in addition to working with your heart chakra. The Himalayan pink quartz works with your heart chakra and your higher heart. So does the pink lithium. So does the um, apophyllite. The pink amethyst brings in vibrations from the purple amethyst subtly and with the pink color. So you have some crown chakra energy coming down through and into the pink amethyst and adding to the love energy, the unconditional love energy that you know is available and is not always easy to achieve or tap into. And then we have Mangano. It has some, let's see if you can see this. Hopefully you can see that there are some white striations or lines. So to me, the white lines, so I'm against my hair, no. But the white lines represent protection and energetic purification for your spiritual path. So think of this, the Mangano, love energy, as well as protection for your heart while you're going through managing, feeling, thinking, doing, avoiding sometimes, and working with your heart chakra in ways that help you uplift, up-level, level up, raise your vibration so that you attract higher vibe opportunities, higher vibe people, and you are happier. When you are happier, 
more happy, abundant, prosperous types of things come your way. They just do. And it could be as simple as a cup of coffee or, um, I don't know, somebody sending you a gift card to your favorite coffee shop, you know, a virtual gift card. It can be a refund you weren't expecting, you know, all kinds of things. It could be coins on the ground and it could be, I don't know, what could it be for you? Okay, let me just check my notes one more time. Bear with me. I want to make sure that I'm sharing with you everything that I wanted to share with you. So it really is going from anger, distrust, feelings of being betrayed, um, abandoned. Anything that is not of love can be changed through and with working with your heart chakra. When you change one thing, one thought, one feeling, you change everything. I have totally reset my whole day just by deciding to do this for you and hopefully with you today because pink is magic. <laughs> and it's one of my favorite colors. All right, beautiful soul, if you have any questions, I'd love for you to share any of experiences that you have. Put those down below if you would. Thank you. Have an amazing rest of your day, week, month, year. Namaste.